Hi. This one will be more theoretical one. Let's suppose we have a battery and we want to measure its internal resistance, which is something that's very important and some charger can measure it, but they are not very accurate because the contact on the, with the battery, if they are not perfectly 100% okay, so it can add a few milliohms and this is what make all the difference. <clears throat> so let's suppose we have a battery which we call it UBAT and it have an internal resistance which we'll call it uh, R internally and this is the output of the battery. So what we will do basically is two uh, measurements, very simple measurement. We will take a DVM or multimeter or whatever and we measure the voltage. When we are doing it this way, the internal resistance of the DVM is very high. So we can assume that the current that flow is zero. And by the ohm law, u is equal to i multiplied with r and if the current is zero so the voltage drop in the case of no load when we have circuit with no load like this one so what basically we are doing we are measuring the uh, voltage of the internal battery <coughs> without the resistance we, we want to find the resistance we don't know so in this measurement we will have the uh, battery voltage now we'll take a, a second this will be the first measurement and then we'll do the second measurement what the second measurement will be it will be exactly the same because we have the same battery with its uh, internal resistance and we have the U battery but now what we will do, we will take the contact of the battery, which are these two contacts, the minus and the plus, and we will add a resistor. We will add a resistor that we know its value, for example, just for understanding this uh, example, we will call it R load, and let's put the R load 10 ohms. Of course, we want it to be as low as we can because we want to check uh, accurate and accurate meaning we want a, a lot of current and then our measurement will be better. But let's say that we have uh, this number here and now what we are doing, we are taking the same DVM or multimeter connected in parallel to the R load and we will measure the voltage on the R load. Of course, in this case, the voltage here will be smaller than the voltage here because there is a current that flow and there is a voltage drop now on the internal resistor, which we didn't have in this case. So now we will have a voltage drop here, but we don't know what we have is the measurement here. Let's take an example uh, to understand this. I will put some number from my head and I don't know what it will give us, but in order to understand uh, what is going on. So in the second, uh, so in the first measurement, we will measure the U bet. And in the second measurement, we will measure the U load. And we have a known resistor in this example 10 ohm. Now let's uh, do the calculation. Let's assume that we did the first measurement and we got the U bet is equal to 4 volt. Okay? And then we did the R load that we know that it is 10 ohm. And now we measure just for the example the U load will be 3.9 volts. Okay? Which means we have a voltage drop on the internal resistor. We know what is the voltage drop now, but uh, this, uh, this is less important. I will explain uh, in a minute why. So if we know the, this parameter, now we can assume that the current is flowing, of course, through our load resistor and we have a current now. 
and this count uh, can be calculated very easily because the I count on the load will be the U load in our example 3.9 divided by 10 ohm so in this case we will have a, a 0.39 amp or a 390 milliamp okay so now we have uh, this parameter we have this parameter and we want to find the internal resistor so the our internal resistor of course will be uh, the voltage here minus the voltage here that we have uh, previously found and divided by the current that we already know so they are internal resistant because this voltage is higher and we want the number to be positive so it will be the u bat that we already measure minus in our case is the 3.9 watt that we found in the second measurement and this will be divided by the current that we have found because we know the voltage and our resistor that we have chosen should be accurate by the way uh, so we will divide it by the current which is a uh, 0. Uh, point 39 amp and then uh, we can get a number in our example let's see what we get so it will be uh, of course 4 volt minus 3.9 divided by uh, 0.39 amps this give us a uh, 0.1 volt divided by 0.39 amps and I don't know the math, so I will use my calculator, Windows calculator, to get the number. So in our case, it is in a second. So we get the internal resistance in this case is 0 0.2564 ohms. Or uh, we can write that this is a 256.4 milliohms. Okay, so now, <coughs> of course, we can check uh, if what we got is correct by the same equation. This is very simple. So let's assume that we want to check ourselves. So we will now uh, put the circuit again with the known resistor that we know is uh, this number 0.2564 whatever ohm and we have the 4 volts and we know that we have a 10 ohm load and we know that we measured on it 3.9 volts that means that the voltage drop here should be exactly a 0. 1 volt because this is 4 and this is 3.9 so let's check if this is correct so the U drop on the internal resistor in this case will be this number from this ohm low is uh, the 390 milliamps so 0.39 uh, multiply by this number which is 0 0.2564 of course if we will do the math it should uh, be exactly 0 0.1 volt and this is 0 0.1 volt so this is the, the theory and the theory is something uh, very good but uh, it is better to uh, work with Accurate, uh, accurate devices that can measure this number okay so this is the next thing this is the theory let's put aside the theory and move to real practice so I have here a internal resistance multimeter which is basically measure uh, something very nice if you will look at it so we have uh, this uh, uh, contacts here, very sharp contacts, and this contact, by the way, uh, are with spring. So 
I can press them. Why should I press them? Because the problem is always to get a good contact in order to measure accuracy, accurately a uh, very low resistance. For example, we are talking in these batteries a few milli ohms of resistor, exactly, especially if the battery can deliver a very high current out, like scooter Segway or a, a Dyson, for example, Dyson a vacuum cleaner. So basically, if we, we look, we have two wires. Okay, this is two wires because the measurement using two wires is much more accurate and this is like a feedback to the circuit inside to get a very precise and accurate measurement and uh, let's see an example so we have here three modes the modes are uh, related to the voltage that we want to measure so if you want to measure this battery which is 3 volt something so we will have to use the second uh, second place because this is still 20 volt and 2000 milli ohms and then we power it on this is a very very powerful battery that can deliver more than 3 amps outside continuous so the resistance should be very 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 low so let's see the examples on, on the most accurate numbers that we can get from device so we, we can see that we have find 5.8 millions wow